Okay, so number six is the digastric muscle. The origin is, and di, oh, di means two, and gastric means belly. So it has two bellies. So origins, anteriorly um, inferior mandible, and the mastoid notch of the temporal bone, and the insertion on the hyoid bone. The action, it protracts, retracts, and elevates the hyoid and opens the mandible. So we have to tilt the model up to see and there are two bellies. Okay. Belly number one from the inferior mandible and belly number two, the mastoid. So yeah. where was belly one again, I'm sorry? Belly number one here. Okay. And belly number two here. Okay. So the mastoid notch of the temporal bone and the inferior mandible. Okay. Number seven. Is ah. Sternohyoid. So that will originate on the manubrium of the sternum and insert on the hyoid bone. And that depresses the hyoid bone. <clears throat> so that is here. Let me see if we have a better. There's a pretty good one on the uh on the full We can see how it will bring the hyoid bone, right? If this contracts, it will depress the hyoid bone. Okay. Number eight. I just like saying this one, the OMO hyoid. It's like, oh my. But OMO, OMO means scapula. So any muscle that is either originates or inserts in the scapula could have OMO in its name, and hyoid. And you think the hyoid is here, the scapula is back there, where is that muscle going to be? Right. right? But if we look, we can trace it right here, all the way back. So let's see if we can look under here. <clears throat> down here to the scapula. I didn't read it here. So, origin, superior border of the scapula, insertion hyoid bone, and it depresses the hyoid. Number nine, the scalenes. <coughs> Now this, uh, the flashcards group them as the scalenus, but there are, and, and we, can, we can live with that. So the transverse processes of C2 through six, origin, insertion rib one and two, and they will flex and rotate the neck and elevate the first and second ribs. So let's look at the scalenus. So they are double check. That's what I thought. These three muscles here, the anterior, middle, 
and posterior scalenes. So these go to the spine, the cervical spine. Oh. All right. And that's number, those are 26, 25, and 24? Right. 26 okay. anterior, 25 middle, 24 posterior. posterior. Okay. <clears throat> that was number nine. And number ten, uh, a major, major, major muscle. Another one I like to say, <laughs> the sternocleidomastoid. So the origins are in the sternum and the clavicle, sternocleido, insertion on the mastoid process. And action rotates and extends the head and flexes the neck. So, and if you look at where it is, it's this big muscle right here. Right, right under the platysmus. Right. And so when this contracts, the neck will laterally flex, rotate, right? And you can feel it on yourself if you turn your neck and put a little pressure the other way on your chin and you can feel all the way the mastoid and you can feel it going to the clavicle and to the sternum. So we're here to, you can kind of see the clavicle just underneath that branch mm -hmm. and then the sternal branch. <clears throat> and does big guy do it better? Yes, big guy does it better. Right, so mastoid, clavicle, sternum. sternum. Sternocleidomastoid. And so you can see if this side is contracted, it's more of a lateral. If this side, now we're putting a little more rotation. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So those are the second group of muscles, the first 10 muscles of the head and neck. Thank you.